Welcome back. So, this video is going to be a good opportunity for you to all find out if you can hear me easily enough in a mask. And the reason for that is this is not going to be a project video. I know it's Sunday. I know you're supposed to get a project video on Sunday. But I've had to make a little change. And I'll explain why when we come back. with the change. Well, today is our shop spotlight video. And I, I have found that weekend videos, although all the videos have equal exposure, the weekend videos are more likely to be watched the day they come out. And because this is a giveaway video, I want you to have the maximum amount of time to go over to the shop, take a look at the items, enter the contest, and obviously win a prize. So, that's the reason for the change. Nothing weird or sinister, just the timing of a giveaway video. So, let's talk about the giveaway. Well, this is from a shop called Steffi's beads and baubles and by the way I'm going to print all this information so if I end up misquoting take what is written right across it'll, it'll be right across here on the video so take that instead of what's coming out of my mouth because she has a couple of different names and I don't want to get confused. So, what is this about? Let's start with the Etsy shop. The Etsy shop is called Steffi's Deeds Baubles. And I'm going to print this. Okay. And that's where she sells her wares. Uh, she also has uh, a jewelry crafting um, blog. And that is Stephanie's, or no, Steffi's, not Stephanie's, sorry. Steffi's Needs and Bobbles.com. And you'll notice that's a little different from the Etsy shop. And her email address, you need this for the giveaway, is Steffi's Beads and Bobbles at gmail.com. I'm going to put that right here. Okay. So, how does the giveaway work? Well, first thing is, this giveaway is U.S. only. For those of you who are international, I'm sorry, but because the crafters that are providing these giveaways can be from anywhere in the country, and all the 50 states have their own giveaway laws, their it's covered under the sweepstakes and lottery laws. They're all different. And I don't want to get anybody in trouble. So it has to remain U.S. based. Very sorry about that. But we're going to have other giveaways. They are going to be international. So please forgive us for this one. Now, what do you have to do? Well, I have the rules posted in the video notes and that includes another copy of Steffi's address. What you have to do is you have to subscribe to the channel, like the video, then go over to Steffi's Etsy shop, take a look at her stuff and send her an email letting her know you would like to enter the giveaway. That's all there is to it. Super, super easy. So what kind of shop is this? This is a jewelry um, and ornament and 
trinket crafting shop. I took a look at her shop. Well, I'll get a little more detail about that later. And um, there were there are all kinds of things. And she sent me pictures not only of her current stock of items, but other items that she has made in the past. And it's really, you know, some great, great, great stuff. I'm very disappointed that I couldn't get the llama. I want that llama. Wait till you see the llama. Gee, did I want that. But that was a one-of-a-kind piece that's already been sold. Somebody else got my llama. I'm disappointed. But terrific stuff. Now, I think I told you all about the animals in my yard. Every year, I get new animals. And you've been with me for a year, so you've seen two different invading animals. You saw the peacock and you saw the vultures. So, that, and that's just in the last year. I have had groundhogs, skunks, cats, uh, a possum, snapping turtles, a duck that laid eggs in my daylily bed, um, snakes, she had a lot of snakes, the raccoons, oh my goodness, the raccoons, they are brazen. They came in, they had a party on my patio. I opened the door and they just stopped and looked at me like, what do you want? They, they didn't even run. Oh, they're cute as they're dickens, but they are bold. And every year at Christmas time, I get an ornament commemorating whatever animal it was that year. So last year, peacocks. Great, that's easy. Peacock ornaments, by the way, are remarkably easy. This year, I have to find a vulture Christmas ornament. I, I don't even know where to begin looking. So whenever I see somebody that makes Christmas ornaments, I just take a look. It's like, ooh, vultures? Well, you know, no, but still. Anyway, that's what I do for Christmas ornaments. So, without further ado, let's take a look at Steffi's stuff.
So is that incredible or what? Um, oh, and the thing I was going to explain, don't bother looking for that steampunk necklace. I already found it. I bought it. It's mine. Sorry. Well, no, I'm not sorry. <sighs> yeah, I am sorry that you all can't have one, but you can't because I've got it. And the consolation I am offering you is I will be wearing that a lot, so you will get to see it. But was that terrific or what? I couldn't resist. You know, sorry. So, yes, that goes into the pile of stuff that she's made and sold. But the rest of the stuff, a lot of that is available. A lot of that is still in her Etsy shop. The giveaway prize was that delightful little felt sequined Christmas tree. Um, that was just, that's just so cute. And that's going to be the giveaway prize. So go, yes, Audie, go take a look. And I personally am going to go back there and start looking through those charms. Because if you'll recall, when we did the, um, the ribbon bookmarks, I did some, well, did one with a, a hook-on charm. Yes, okay, you can come up. With a hook-on charm. And she's got a bunch of charms that would be perfect for that. So I have to go back and go charm shopping. Okay. In the meantime, I am going to cut the video short. As you know, it's, it's not really easy for me to be talking. And I'm talking in a mask. But like I say, we're going to find out. If you can understand me, terrific. I'll keep doing this. If you can't, the mask is going. Okay, so, sorry for the short video. You know what's going on. And by the way, thank you so very much for all your good wishes. I, I am certain I am fine, and I'm going to be fine. But thank you. It really means a lot to me. And Audie is being... Say, say hi. Audie is being very affectionate and very needy today. So, I don't know, people have said he's figured out that something is wrong. That's probably true. He probably knows something is not quite right. Because um, it's this tail thing, mostly. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, when he wants to cuddle me, he starts wrapping his tail around me. It's, it's cute and weird. And, but it's adorable. So do you want to go? Go ahead. Go ahead. You went on camera. All right. So I'm going to cut this short. I apologize for that. Um, but what can I say? It is what it is. I will see you all tomorrow. We are doing our project video tomorrow. So thank you for being with me in spite of all the chaos, and I'll see you later. Thank you.